Normally I have a problem making friends and, and keeping them. I'm, I'm really good at making friends. It's just being able to keep them because I don't know how to maintain a relationship. Hmm. But this has opened up new doors um, to just be able to talk about my struggles and people just seem to be more accepting. Hey everyone, it's Dan from Camp Woodridge. Camp Woodridge is all about bringing joy, adventure, and rest to families with children with special needs. And today I'm excited about our guest, Kenny, and for you to hear a little bit of his story. So without further ado, I'll give it to Kenny. Kenny, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, I'd love to hear a little bit about yourself. Why don't you tell us where you're from, your family, that type of thing. Um. So my name is Kenny and I'm from Waco, Texas. Um, and I live here with my wife and our two daughters and, um, they are, uh, 19 and 17 years okay. old. And, um, yeah, I, I go to school full time in Waco for HV, HVAC. Um, I work for an HVAC company already and they decided to let me go to school and I've been able to maintain a, um, a very high grade average throughout the, throughout the time that I've been in school and I have, I'm on my last semester. Oh, nice. So I will be graduating in about three months if everything goes right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, congrats. That's yeah. exciting, man. Thank you. Yeah. So one of the ways that we connected was your, uh, through social media, you showcasing your incredible artwork. Um, and for those, you know, that are connected with Camp Woodridge that haven't seen it, uh, we'll make sure that uh, you check out his, his artwork on his Instagram profile there and TikTok and such. But um, I'd love to hear a little bit about what motivates you when you're creating art, how you got into uh, the artwork that you create and so forth. Yeah. And so it's only been like about 10 months that I've been actually doing art. Um, mm. In fact, I never knew that I was artistic um, until there was, there's a little game that people play here in Waco and it's, um, it's where they, they paint on rocks and then they hide them. Um, and on the back of it, it says, post a picture of the rocks that you found on Facebook. Hmm. And, um, and so I wanted to try it. I was like, that sounds like fun, but I don't know how to draw or paint. And so I started looking at pictures and I started drawing. And even after the first one, everybody was like, that's really amazing. And hmm. I was like, well, I'm just copying a picture. It's not hard. And um, off the internet or something, I'm just looking at it and copying it. And the more I got into it, the more I started looking at like art everywhere. Um, and I went into a doctor's office here and he had art that he created hmm. and it was some of the type of art that I did. And it, I just looked at it and looked at it and looked at it. And I was just really amazed by it. And I was trying to figure out how he did it. And I got to the point where I started wanting to do it. And so I, was I guess I had just downloaded TikTok on my phone because people had shown me some of these paintings. I think it was maybe my daughter mm -hmm. and I came across <laughs> one TikTok artist and, and I watched her do it. I watched her video, a couple of her videos over and over and over. And I just said, I can do that. And so I went out and I went to a local store here, art store here, Michael's and bought some canvases and some paint and just kind of started doing it. And, um, my, my art changes a lot. And I, mm. it, it, for me, for me, it's more of expression for, uh, I guess, for who I am, um, in, in the, I'm, I feel like I'm always changing and, and I feel like I, I will always want to overcome a challenge. Mm. Um, and so I'll see a different type of art and I'll say, okay, I can do that. And then, and then I do it and then I do another one and then I do a different type. And that's why 
there's not a lot of pieces now that I do that are exactly the same um, because it's, for me, it's just a challenge to be able to create something new. And if somebody finds beauty out of it, then I, I find that much more beauty in it when somebody else does. So mm. it excites me when people are excited about my work. Yeah, I mean, this is obviously a huge connecting point for us. How has it connected you with others online and such, and even in person? Um, it's allowed me to talk about my story a, um, a lot more. Um, you know, having an, in, an invisible disability, a lot of times people don't understand, um, you know, when you tell them that you have a disability, they'll sometimes they will say, well, you seem fine to me or, mm. you know, in something like that. And I am fine. Um, and I, in, but it's the things that I struggle with. And, and so just being able to, my art just seems like I'm able to talk about that more openly with people and they're more accepting and understanding, um, you know, because the art community is so open and, so wide and there's so many people on the autism spectrum that um that are artists hmm. um and, and in fact i've connected with so many of them and um it's just been fun it's been really hmm. neat to um be a part of a community um when like normally i have a problem making friends and in keeping them. I'm, I'm really good at making friends. It's just being able to keep them because I don't know how to maintain a relationship, hmm. but this has opened up new doors um, to just be able to talk about my struggles and people just seem to be more accepting. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. Have you, I know that, um, before we started recording this, you're talking about, you know, I mean, I can just see it that you're an inspiration and this being a, a big heartbeat of yours to inspire others. Have, have you, I know you're a humble guy, so it's hard to, I'm not asking you necessarily to brag about yourself here, but have you found ways that you can see that you're inspiring others, uh, other artists, maybe kids um, just, you know, through connecting with them in this way? Um, yes, definitely. Um again, especially with the autism community, um, I've had a lot of parents reach out and, um, and I had one a few weeks ago, um, a friend of mine and, um, his mom reached out and, and told me that he liked one of my paintings. And, um, and I was very excited because I, I want to be able to inspire others that may not know what their, their talents are. I didn't know what my talents were until 10 months ago. <laughs> I didn't realize that I had it, but when I, when I realized it, it was, I didn't realize that it was always there. And I want to be able to show others um, that just because you can't do one thing good, um, like maybe socialize or something else does not mean that, you know, there's not other talents and abilities that um, out there that you just haven't recognized yet. Um, and, and I think that's a big thing for us socially is, is when we find an interest that people want to talk to us about, it just makes it a lot easier to be able to make a conversation. Mm. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Well, man, I appreciate you sharing all this is, um, yeah, is there, what's next for you? What are you looking forward to here? We're, uh, and then, you know, upcoming, um, what's on the horizon for you? Um, it's a good question. <laughs> At the next challenge, I think the next challenge <laughs> um, of of where my art's gonna go, um, and also just um, just being with the community. I, I think a big thing for me is just uh, how this connects me with the community more than more than anything. Um, my wife and I actually started a adult autism su uh, support group here in Waco last mm. year. And, and that's helped connect us as well. Um, and also we, you know, even 
painting on the spectrum, we, we also give 5% every year to a new organization that invest mm. in people with special needs, especially adults. And um, so this year we're, we're giving 5% away to TACT program, which is teaching autism community uh, trades. Um, and I talked with them this last week. And um, even though it's not a lot of money, we just, you know, we want to be able to give back to the community that it has given to us and has supported me and, um, and our family, especially when I'm going, while I've been going to school. That's great. So how can uh, people connect with you? Uh, on your um, Instagram handle, TikTok, Facebook, all of that. But yeah, Instagram and, and, and TikTok as well. Um, that's kind of the way that we've been doing it right now. And I, I actually prefer that way because then I get to talk to the people and get to know who they are and, and you know, who's getting my paintings. And, um, you know, um, I just I like the personal side of it um, because it helps me with communications with other people and understanding and sometimes it gets confusing but you know it, it either way it helps awesome well kenny thank you so much you really uh have been an inspiration to us um ali and myself our kids we love uh whenever you post new things and are just so challenged i'm i'm still blown away that it's been 10 months because i mean really you're you're just an incredible artist so be encouraged in that and yeah i can't wait to see what you create next so thank you and thank you so much for your time today we really appreciate it thank you very much i appreciate y'all uh, giving me the time yeah all right well until next time thank you guys so much 